Well, howdy, y'all. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I'm not going around wearing a cowboy hat all the time. Whatever. So, um, this video, I'm going to answer some questions that I received over this week from y'all. Um, my precious followers. Some ones that have to do with coffee. Because, as you know, that's like my biggest passion, sort of. And I thought I would answer them in a vlog. So Brian asked me um, if I knew how to get rid of coffee breath. And I have a great answer for you, Brian. First of all, this is a great question. Second of all, um, I have a couple different ways that you can uh, battle coffee breath. And the first is at Starbucks, we like right by the cash register. These sit like right in front or to the side. And these are sugar-free mints. And they come in peppermint and spearmint and... Um, a red one too and they're so good I could just like eat these all day and I have a spearmint one it's so good I, I love it it's like mmm it's just like minty freshness covering my body we also have this in like gum form but I like the mints better and then another way you can get rid of um, a rid of coffee breath. These are some like mint leaves from my garden. I just like ran out there really quick and picked them. And you can just like, you can chew on these actually. And that sounds weird, but if you just get a little bit of mint and you twist it and you just chew on it, so wow, it's really powerful. You don't even need that much. So that's one way, but then you just like spit it out and it's biodegradable. So you can just it anywhere. My mom has told me for years is that if you twist the mint leaf and you stick it in your tea or your water, um, that also helps you have good breath. Another thing to do is just drink lots of water because if you drink lots of water then you're well hydrated and you're constantly cleansing your body and that includes your breath too. Brush your teeth too but that's a given so I feel like I shouldn't be like my opinion is brush your teeth because I think everybody and flossing is good too. I actually carry around one of those little bitty flosser thingies, the disposal ones, and after I've used it, I just throw it away, and then I have like a huge pack of them in my bathroom. And I just like, it's part of my daily routine. Put it in my pocket and go. James asked me if I knew the nutritional information for coffee, and James, have I got nutritional information for you. So at Starbucks, we have these little pamphlets that are nutrition by the cup. And this is really great for wanting to know, like, if you're wanting to count calories, then this is your best friend. So I can just tell you that in a tall 12-ounce brewed coffee, there's five calories there. Really, this tells you, like, everything you could want to know. And if not on here, you go to Starbucks.com slash menu, and you get all that same information. But I went to some an outside source, and I got this amazing article... And it is from wholeliving.com, September 2009. I've actually had this article for a long time. I just, like, have it tacked to my wall. Literally, it's over there on the board is where it normally is right there. I'm going to read you, like, the really important part that I think you would really want to know, James. And it says, there are tremendous benefits from lessening risk of type 2 diabetes and gallstones to helping to prevent cirrhosis and cancer of the liver. According to a recent Finnish report, regular consumption may even delay dementia and Alzheimer's disease. But certain health risks associated with the world's most popular stimulant remain. It could trigger or worsen anxiety, insomnia, and acid reflux. It hinders iron absorption sometimes, and it does cause risks of miscarriage in pregnant women. It can also generate dependence. Some people can drink an espresso before bed, and others have a cup of weak dinner coffee, and they're up for three days. That's like my mom and me. I can drink a huge coffee and go straight to sleep. As soon as I hit my pillow, I'm out. But if my mom drinks coffee at night, she, like, will be up, like, cleaning or doing crafts all night. Roasted coffee beans contain beneficial antioxidants, such as polyphenols, which help to protect against heart disease and some forms of cancer. 
and melanoidins, which are known for antibacterial properties. So James, coffee is super healthy, um, but in moderation. So pretty much that article encourages people to drink one six ounce cup of coffee every day. At Starbucks, you can order a short. That's what we call it. It's eight ounces of coffee. And if you stay a short with room, then that would be the six ounces of coffee. And you can add some cream to it if you want to at the condiment bar. Josh asked me if I had any recommendations for coffee on a college budget. And yes, I do, Josh. I have so many recommendations. Now, if you're wanting, like, coffee that is amazing quality, Starbucks is the coffee for you. And we have ways that you can buy less of it and for a more affordable budget. So, for instance, right now we have half pounds of Tribute. Tribute is an amazing coffee. Absolutely, like, superb. I love it. And it's super, like, freshly roasted because it's our promo coffee, which means it's only here and now at your local Starbucks for a temporary time. So that's about half of what it would be if you bought a whole pound. And we can, of course, grind it for you in the store. For a college man, um, Via would be a great option for you, too. And there are three packets. Um, and they're each good for eight ounces of water. So there you go. You got your eight-ounce cup of coffee every day. And all you do is open this little pack, mix it in with eight ounces of water, and you got instant, high-quality Starbucks coffee. And it was super affordable because it's if you think about it, it was only a dollar per cup of coffee. Then Alex asked me if I've ever tried cold brew coffee. And I must tell you, Alex, that unfortunately I've never tried cold brew coffee. It is on my list of things to do. I, when I was in Seattle last, I asked them how I could make it at home, and they said get a cheesecloth and put your coffee grounds in it, tie it, and put a rubber band on it, and stick it in water in the refrigerator overnight for about 12, 8 to 12 hours, and then drink it, and you'll be amazed. I've yet to do this because I don't have a cheesecloth, but as soon as I have a cheesecloth, I'm going to try it. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you later tomorrow. Bye. Should I dye my hair blonde? Comment below and let me know. Okay, bye guys.